Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about the top 10 privately owned arcade games. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. The massive earnings made by the latest editions of, today's greatest franchises receive a lot of attention. So much so that you'd assume this level of financial achievement is unprecedented. It isn't, in fact. There were goods that produced mountains of money even in the early days of video gaming. However, the difference between now and then is, that revenue was earned one quarter at a time back then. Number 10. Donkey Kong. Nintendo's 1981 classic coin-op was a massive hit with gamers, because to its novel gameplay that played out over four different screens. It was also the first game produced by famed designer Shigeru Miyamoto. Although it is sometimes claimed as the first game to include Mario, this is a somewhat disputed fact. When the game was first released in Japan, the protagonist was Jumpman, a carpenter on a mission to save his girlfriend, Lady, from Donkey Kong, his runaway pet gorilla. However, when the coin-op was released in America, Nintendo US workers were not fond of the original Japanese names and came up with their own. Jumpman became Mario after giving up his carpenter job, and becoming a plumber, and Lady became Pauline. This was clearly a wise decision, as he went on to become one of gaming's most well-known characters. Number 9. Mortal Kombat. The iconic Mortal Kombat, created by Ed Boon and John Tobias, isn't the most refined fighter out there, but it's second only to the even more legendary Street Fighter series, when it comes to producing money. Mortal Kombat's big selling point is its fatalities end of fight moves, that often finish off the opponent in a spectacularly gory and bloody fashion. Featuring digitized sprites rather than the hand-drawn animation of other contemporary fighters, Mortal Kombat's big selling point is its fatalities end of fight moves, that often finish off the opponent in a spectacularly gory and bloody fashion. Needless to say, this did not sit well with the political establishment, and the ensuing uproar and US congressional hearings led to the founding of the Entertainment Software Rating Board ESRB, in response to requests for government regulation of video games. When you consider the alternative, that's a definite silver lining in an otherwise very black cloud. Number 8. Mortal Kombat 2. The sequel to Mortal Kombat arrived a year later, with considerable graphical improvements and five new characters. Improved combo capabilities, new moves, and a slew of fatalities, including non-lethal friendship and babality finishes, were also added to the game. The Mortal Kombat franchise was beginning to grow into a juggernaut, by the time this second arcade game was published, with comics, a card, game, movies, and, of course, a slew of home versions which would go on to sell over 26 million games over the years. Indeed, the franchise had 10 Guinness World Records by 2011, including most successful fighting game series, largest promotional campaign for a fighting video game, Mortal Kombat 3, highest grossing film based on a fighting video game, Mortal Kombat 1996, and most successful video game spin-off soundtrack album, Mortal Kombat 1996. Mortal Kombat, original motion picture soundtrack. Number 7, Asteroids. Asteroids is a vector graphic classic from Atari that was released in 1979. Asteroids was constructed utilizing hardware from the older Atari vector coin-op, Lunar Lander, and was inspired by the first fully-fledged video game, Space War. The resulting result was a game that was significantly more intricate, than the more static Space Invaders style format, which tended to have limited movement, and gameplay centered on a defended bottom of the screen position. The player in Asteroids had to contend with dangers from all sides, as well as missile-firing space cruisers. Number 6. Galaga. Namco created and launched this fixed-shooter arcade game in 1981. Midway Manufacturing released it in North America. It is the sequel to Namco's first major arcade video game blockbuster, Galaxian, 1979. The player is in charge of a starship and must destroy the Galaga forces in each stage, while avoiding dangers and projectiles. Some adversaries can use a tractor beam to capture a player's ship, which can then be retrieved to turn the player into a dual fighter with more firepower. With a tiny staff, Shigeru Yokoyama led development. It took around two months to complete the initial planning. Originally intended for the Namco Galaxy and Arcade board, it was repurposed for a new system, when Namco's research and development section recommended it. Number 5. NBA Jam. NBA Jam was released in 1993, just as arcades were regaining popularity, and it follows in the footsteps of the 1989 basketball game Arch Rivals, which also offers two-on-two -two action. 
Whereas arch rivals never quite reached critical mass, NBA Jam was a major hit, because to its official license, which allowed it to use real team names and digital likenesses of prominent players. Gameplay was larger than life, with few regulations, resulting in a frenetic pace of action that frequently included stunning net shots, and slam dunks all accompanied by catchphrases, like, he's on fire, and boom shakalaka. Designer Mark Termal revealed, somewhat amusingly, in 2008, that the game had a minor bias against the Chicago Bulls, as many NBA Jam players had suspected. In close games, the Bulls would miss last-second shots if they were playing the Detroit Pistons. Indeed, boom shakalaka. Number 4. Pinball Machines. Pinball is an arcade game in which a player manipulates one, or more balls within a pinball machine using paddles, called flippers. A pinball machine is a glass-covered cabinet with a playfield, that may include lights, targets, bumpers, ramps, and other items, depending on the design. The main goal of the game is to score as many points as possible by hitting targets, and making various shots with the flippers, before all of the balls drain at the bottom of the play field. Turns are used in most pinball games, referred to as balls, having the same meaning as lives in video games. When all of the balls have been used up, the game is over. Number 3. Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition one of the gaming milestones of the 1990s was Capcom's sequel to its 1987 arcade success. While the original Street Fighter introduced many of the series' essential design concepts, Street Fighter II took them to the next level, resulting in a benchmark fighting game design that is still in use today. The machine was an instant smash thanks to its ultra-competitive gameplay, selling over 60,000 copies worldwide. Its high player turnover kept the cash flowing, which was a welcome respite for many arcade operators who had watched income fall since the mid-80s. With the success of Street Fighter II, Capcom quickly developed an upgraded version, which, for the purposes of this list, isn't considered a standalone sequel, because it's effectively an upgrade kit. Champion Edition debuted in arcades in April 1992, with rebalanced gameplay, four playable grandmasters, and the first ever possibility for players to compete in mirror matches. Despite the fact that it looked quite similar to Street Fighter II, CE managed to sell 140,000 new boards and cabinets. Number 2. Space Invaders. Space Invaders, a video game classic, launched what is, now known as the Golden Age of Arcades, a period of history, that spanned the late 1970s to the mid-1980s, and saw extraordinary improvements in gaming design and technology. In June 1978, the machine was released in Japan, and it quickly became a cultural sensation. Over 100,000 coin-ops had been installed across the country by the end of the year. Because of its enormous popularity, there was a temporary shortage of the 100 yen coin due to the sheer volume of individuals stuffing money into its coin slots. Space Invaders quickly became a big export, reviving arcades around the world which had been in steady decline since the 1950s due to mechanical machines and, at the time, only minimal technological progress. Millions of gamers fueled this actual turn of events, queuing up again, and time again to show their mettle against the oncoming hordes. In its first year, the movie made more money in the United States than the highest-grossing film of the time, Star Wars. Not bad for a business that has only been around for five years. Number 1. Pac-Man. Since the release of Space Invaders, the number one quarter eater of all time should come as no surprise. Unless you grew up playing arcade games, that is. Pac-Man, gaming's first big mascot and possibly its most iconic and enduring character, debuted in 1980 and became an instant hit. Pac Nonviolent Man's maze chase gameplay stood out in an era when practically all games were space-themed shooters. It also did something important at the time that few other games did, it appealed to female gamers. This worldwide appeal drew a record-breaking number of players to arcades around the world, who stuffed billions of quarters into the machines. Pac-Man became an icon as a result of his popularity, and the first wave of gaming goods was born, with the yellow dot gobbler printed on everything from t-shirts and hats to lunchboxes and dinking glasses. Pac-Man has appeared in over 30 games since then, but most gamers will always associate him with this iconic machine. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.